Well, hello, 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 and welcome back to my channel if you're a regular here. And if you're new here, well, hello, welcome. Come on in and hope you enjoy your stay. This is a brand new series and it is The Sims 4. And as you can see here, we are using a complete clean save file. We'll come back to this particular thing in a moment, but just to give you an overview, let's just pick one for instance. Every single map if you like or area is completely completely clean and we only have the bare minimum of townies that i've made myself but fady where's conan where's rimworld well i have a video coming out explaining what's happening with myself and other games don't worry conan exiles will still be played on my channel at least twice a week and rimworld i will going to try and get back into as soon as i am physically and mentally able to again there is another video coming out uh, this week explaining what's going on but don't worry conan and room world are still going to be there but i need to play the sims because of my um my hands basically they're, they're very swollen at the moment and very sore with the arthritis and i can play the sims with one hand so that's what i'm going to do now, I saw that Deligracy and James Turner were playing something called Tiny Town. And it was invented, if you like, by Deligracy. And then James Turner went on and played it too. Now, Deligracy has just started a second season or series, if you like, of Tiny Town. So if you're unsure what Tiny Town is all about, please go and check out Deligracy and James Turner. And you'll find out lots more because my version is quite a bit different from theirs. Uh, again, I'll link those in the first comment and the disc or, and or the description of the video. So my tiny town, and here it is, is what I've built. Um, it's on Von Winderberg Estate, 64 by 64, but we will be changing the name of it. And we have eight. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight little sections in it. So let's go into the build and uh, have a quick look. Okay, let me turn off that and turn off the grid. So I didn't want to have 10 as in like a normal legacy would be like 10 generations um, because I wanted a slightly larger plots for the ranch. So packs, yes, this is a um, plot here is going to be for a ranch. It's going to be a small ranch with horses and they will probably do the winery. And next to that, of course, is cottage living. Where we'll be having a small farm, some vegetables, but we'll be using the little sheep and the little goats from that pack in, into here so we'll have some animals in there over here we have eco living eco living eco lifestyle is it lifestyle or living i can't quite remember and that's one of my favorite packs ever because i love all stuff like that so we'll be doing that on there next door we have of course a little snippet of salani where the, we have a mermaid living that is so cute she's got a little pool little pool not poo <laughs> and over here we're going to have an alien now it's up to you guys whether we do a bog standard alien or we do something from batu and like really batu that little area up there then of course we have the werewolves pack and the spellcasters pack and the vampires and this is where we will be starting okay so the idea behind my tiny town pack legacy challenge is quite simple this guy is our founder as you would have in a legacy and he's a vampire his offspring are going to then move into one of the other plots and that will be voted on by you guys who's going to be next and so forth and so on and each pack or each sim that is the lead of that pack will have different aspirations and different challenges to complete before we will be moving on to the next sim i hope that makes sense oh, i forgot i had myself and bent in barkley in this world but there you go there's me and bent in barkley um let's have a look at raven i do use a lot of custom content cc for the male sims from dart to 77 who i am a member of his patreon so i do like his stuff and i think it's lovely so I've tried to keep his palette, you know, the typical vampire colours, blacks, reds, muted colours. Um, we've got different shirts, but he keeps the same trousers and boots on all the time because I just love those jeans uh, and boots. His formal 
again it's very casual a jacket loose tie but with the jeans just in different colors his athletics just a little bit of change there again red and black his night time he's only got a couple and his party wear i found him some lovely leather trousers and he just changes the top out to different like jumpers and jackets Ooh. his swimwear is just bog standard and his summer wear got, got to have the glasses on because that sun is very bright and again it's just muted colors blacks reds and a mixture of and my favorite this cold weather it looks awesome he's got some lovely bright red socks on under those jeans and this jacket from dart 77 is absolutely fabulous with all the different um colors look at this beautiful absolutely beautiful i've changed that one out that's another jacket from dart 77 absolutely beautiful right okay so he wants to be a master vampire he's a bookworm a music lover and he's proper and uh, his activities he likes to do a bit of handiness i don't know why but he does um he likes to play the piano and he likes writing so this guy if you can't tell already is going to be an author and a songwriter he's going to be self-sufficient and he's got the money he's going to earn will be from writing books and uh writing songs and licensing licensing them out he likes black and gray and red of course he doesn't like bright colors like orange purple pink and yellow the decor types he likes boho he cannot stand cosmolux <laughs> he likes farmhouse industrial shabby storybook and vintage um he really really doesn't like country fashion at all and his music he prefers spooky music and singer songwriter music and he cannot stand s-pop music <laughs> so this is our founder he does not have a dark form yet because he's like a he's like a baby vampire he's a fledgling i'm going to give him a, uh, a dark form once he reaches a master vampire now you probably noticed straight away that he's sad and that is because of this undead among the dead raven is surrounded by the bodies of those who never rose from the grave to become vampires raven is now pondering whether life as an immortal is truly worth it or if he should never have been the undead so yeah this is going to give us a permanent um sad plus one because he's living on a grave not on a grave he's living in a graveyard oh my goodness me and as we can see here it also has creepy crawlies and it is off the grid it has peace and quiet uh registered vampire lair, lair and the graveyard okay that is because what we'll be doing with this particular build is as we carry on with our legacy we'll be building little graves in our graveyard and we will be extending this out a little bit more probably at that side there and then we'll put all the graveyards in here the start of every generation when we move to different plots and different sections of the estate I will put in the video description the aspirations the challenges we will be doing for that particular particularly particular plot or section so if you look in the description for this one you'll see all about raven and what we need to do with him um i think he's got a brolly we'll just yeah he's got already got a brolly because we absolutely need one for that and as you can see down the left hand side i've set his um money down to zero and it's 1 21 pm and it's bright sunshine out there so we're gonna have to wait until dark until we can go out find a library which we don't have yet so i'm going to be looking on the um gallery to find us a nice library okay i found this absolutely beautiful library in windenburg uh, by cam cluster it just looks amazing look at this and it's quite you know fits in with windenburg fits in with quite a vampire style as well so we're going to place the lot uh make it into a library and there we go look at this guys isn't that amazing let's have a closer look inside okay turn the grid off upstairs you've got computers some desks i love the way they've decorated it like with books hanging around like an old desk there some sofas proper table we've even got a little bathroom there looking outside 
where you can play some chess over here. There's an actual bedroom. That's interesting. And down here, this is look, look at this. A corner here with a big writing desk on. That is lovely. I love that. Little places tucked away, computers everywhere. He should he should be fine in here, our oh, little vampire. He should be absolutely fine. We've got dining places outside, more chess tables. This is like a house. This is like a full house. That's amazing. I love it. Can't wait for it to get dark and for him to come and have a look at this. And uh, start his adventure writing some books. During the playthrough, you're going to see quite a bit of CC. So I just thought I'd show you where I get most of it from. I actually use CurseForge. And the majority of the floors, wallpapers, tiles, carpets, um, I use are by Trash Panda. So if you want to search on CurseForge for Trash Panda, that's where you'll find all of those. Um, other bits and pieces I use is from like Dark Academia. And that is by Sims for Luxury. And there's lots and lots of lovely stuff in there for the Dark Academia sets. If there's any particular thing that um, you can't find and it's not from CurseForge, let me know in a comment and I shall try and find which mod it is. The hair I've used for my vampires by Sonya Sims. And there's another nice one there. They're on CurseForge. I do have the vampire self-preservation. That means they're going to run from the sun always handy <laughs> and there's all sorts of little bits and pieces again if there's any particular thing you're interested in like the bible fog that's a good one a really good one is the bible fog let me know and i'll try and figure out what it is and which pack it's from or where it's from so i hope that has given you enough background of what the challenge is all about and our founder raven here um we have obviously since i started recording this i've had a, a big sims update so a lot of my CC isn't working <laughs> and the MC command center is throwing up errors all over the place. So I'm going to give it a couple of days and try and sort it all out before I start actually recording the series. We don't want it to mess up too much while we're doing that. So thank you very much for watching today. Let me know in the comments uh, what you like about this challenge, what you don't like, what you're hoping to see, what you don't want to see and uh, if it's something that you're interested in. So take care guys. Thanks ever so much and we'll see you soon.